You know, I came in honestly not knowing what to expect. There isn't necessarily a playbook for, for team presidents because there's, there's 32, right? Um, but the Raiders have such a rich um, history mm -hmm. and dedicated, not just fan, fan base, obviously, with Raider Nation, uh, but also employees and it, the most passionate owner who genuinely cares about the fan more than anything else, the fan experience more than anything else. So I wasn't quite sure what what I was stepping into, I think, like most people when they take, uh, take a new position. Um, but what I realized is that it always comes down to the people. What do you see as the growing role of women in the NFL? What is the NFL doing to welcome women into the ranks? I think it's amazing. I think the NFL's efforts to actually just <laughs> diversify the NFL, um, especially for, for women and for people of color, have been, have been great. You know, I also think that we could all do a better job talking about the different roles that women actually have. You know, there, there is a growing number of coaches. Um, I was um, so excited to meet, you know, female referees that you kind of see there, as you mentioned, kind of the ponytails running down the field uh, before um, a game. We have women in the C-suite and at many, many teams. Um, our chief sales officer is a woman. Our, obviously, our head of HR, our head of government relations at the Raiders, all women. Um, and of the that we have about 240 i want to say at least a third of the of the people for the raiders business ops are women um, we have a woman on the football operations team and our data and analytics and just kind of general um, operation support and um you know women are great at logistics right and <laughs> so planning true. and there's definitely good, going to be more opportunities i know there's a strong um, base in business ops and i see um, a growing number of women in football operations as well so it's just great to see